DC. Um, so Dinesh Kalki is actually the boutique immigration law firm that Lily interned at last year and just mentioned briefly. Um, so my the partner attorneys at this office mainly work on asylum cases. Um, and the way to get asylum in this country is to prove that you've been persecuted or fear of future persecution in your home country based on your race, religion, nationality, political opinion, or membership in a particular social group. And that last one is kind of a catch-all. Um, it involves things like domestic violence, gang violence, um, sexual violence, and it's currently the one that Attorney General Jeff Sessions and the current administration are trying to undermine, um, saying those are more personal issues. But nevertheless, the attorneys that I worked with this summer have been working relentlessly to still defend the rights and um, lives of the immigrants uh, seeking refuge in the U.S. So a little bit about what I did. I did a lot of country conditions research, so anytime an immigrant is putting forth a, an asylum application, we will supplement their personal story with reports, research, statistics, um, giving credibility to their own accountants of what happens. So for example, if you're doing an asylum application for um, a woman in El Salvador who is experiencing domestic violence, I did a lot of research um, to show that A, domestic violence is a, is a relevant issue in El Salvador, and that the government in El Salvador is unable and unwilling to protect um, women. And that's a good example, because in the Northern Triangle, we've dealt with a lot of immigrants from there, which include Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, and that's where we see a lot of domestic violence and gang violence cases coming forward. I also sat in on a lot of consultations, which gave me the opportunity to observe our attorneys. I worked on various filings um, for the office. So, for example, I did a derivative status case for a young woman whose mother just gained asylum in the U.S. I contributed to an array of course workers that came through the office and needed help. And I also got the opportunity to attend a few immigration-related events. So I went to a research event at American University. And I also got to observe the quarterly meeting with the United States Citizen and Immigration Service. And that one was interesting because I was able to talk to my boss afterwards and she was kind of telling me how the tone and the amount of information being released by the government um, through the USCIS has definitely changed under this administration, um, making it harder for attorneys to know what to expect and changes in how to you know, balance that. Kind of a pinnacle experience for me was the Family Belong Together March that I attended. Um, this summer was truly eye-opening and listening and talking to and reading about the stories of our clients and the torture and persecution they underwent in their home countries. Um, it's the type of violence many of us not even imagine or fathom. So this march was really empowering because it gave a positive outlook and that there are thousands and thousands and hopefully millions of people on the right side of history here, but that a lot of progressive policy work is needed regarding immigration policy that is just, inclusive, accessible, but also feasible. So there is work to be done, and but it's you know very important to use our voices to stand up against injustice. So I did have a few professional realizations after my experience at the National Policy. I realized I prefer working groups on um, projects. I don't like to work alone a whole lot. Um, I really value my ability to speak Spanish. It gave me a few opportunities that I wouldn't have had to be able to do otherwise. Um, I enjoy a more fast-paced environment, so one thing with legal work is the paperwork did bog me down a little bit, it was really <laughs> slow moving that way. Um, but I do have a deep desire to work in public service and serve people and communities directly. And finally, another really powerful experience I had in DC was more on my own time, but I attended the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Um, it's a museum that everyone in this room should hopefully visit in their lifetime, if not several times. Um, but going to the museum, I spent hours going through, there were some quotes and different experiences that I was really connecting to the summer I was having. Um, and it, walking away, I realized now is not time to remain silent as many times throughout history we have. Um, we see injustice is our responsibility to use our privilege and our voice to stand up against it, talk to our senators and our representatives, vote as needed. Um, so that really was able to connect that experience to what I was doing. Um, you know. Uh, undocumented immigrants are among us in our communities, our friends, we see them in the grocery stores, um, and we can be allies for them and you know, help them on their way to having just and fair lives that every human being deserves. So thank you to the Rosenfield Program and the CLS for this opportunity. I know the benefits of this experience will proceed far beyond my year for now. Um, so thank you.